Hey guys, welcome back to Burner Brother Antiques. Today I'm at the heart of Ohio and uh, one of our employees was like, Jacob, you gotta look at this sampler, it's so good. Uh, so we're gonna start right here, let's go. Okay, here we go. A uh, large, elaborate Adam and Eve sampler dated 1823. And this thing is fine. Uh, wow, what what a beautiful sampler. It's got a great patina on the frame. Uh, 1823 Adam and Eve sampler. Right here for sale in case 6112. And the work on this is just phenomenal. Now you're seeing a little bit of reflection through the glass that I'm standing in front of, so don't mind that. but. There's the tree right there, uh, the fall, they're eating, the serpents in the garden, pretty cool piece, Adam and Eve sampler from 1823. What a great piece of folk art, uh, absolutely awesome. Hey guys, gotta check out a sold item right here. Look at this, Pepsi-Cola sign. This is really cool, $415 on the price tag, absolutely beautiful colors, and it's got the three-dimensional uh, Pepsi cap on there. Pretty interesting piece, and it's sold. Scrappy's ring toss game is sold for $49 in the sold bins. This right here is a Hummel that is priced at $150 and they took an offer of $125 on it and it is sold. Um, and that's pretty cool. What is that one called? That is called Two of Wishes, I think is what that says. True of, True of Wishes, okay. And here's a Royal Dalton for $45 in the sold bin. Here's the marks on it. It's an older one, uh, 11 35 is that case number. It's sold. Blue Mayfair, which is kind of a harder color to find. Most of the time you see pink in Mayfair, but this one is blue. Uh, divided relish dish for 55 bucks. Uh, pretty cool, it is sold. So up here in booth 2212, guys, there's some really rare stuff that just came in. There's some great toys. There's, there's all kinds of fun stuff. Let's have a quick look. Check out this car right here. Here's a US Army truck in the back. The old, uh, Steam shovel right here, the Buddy L. That is a pretty awesome piece. A uh, bunch of Shuko cars, uh, steel truck. Uh, and look at all the box stuff over here. Very interesting group of toys and original boxes through here. And the same thing up here, guys, original box toys. Very cool to have all the original boxes, Shuko cars and all that stuff, uh, all priced right here in case number 2212. Hey guys, I'm back up here at the front of the Antique Center. Let's just check out the prices of some glass going out. So these guys right here are $3.99 each. These are a Hawking uh, Fire King. Uh, there you go. $3.99 each on that stack. A whole stack of them going out. Here's another item. Uh, $18.99 on the Jeanette glass in pink. That's pretty cool. Right behind this like dogwood probably. What we got here? Let's see. Uh, yes, dogwood. $8.99 a piece. Another stack of these guys. All sold. To the right, what is this, Blue Mayfair maybe? Let's see what the text is. Uh, Cobalt Royal Lace, ah, I said it wrong. Royal Lace, $42.99 on that guy. Uh, it's sold. Right beside it is the pink, is that Windsor maybe? I'm trying to remember my old patterns here. It's been a while. Jeanette Diamond Optic, $44.99, it's sold. And then right here, uh, there's a pair. So I don't know where the other one's at. Uh, they'll have to get the other one and bring it up probably. So here we go. Lucas has got a whole group of stuff he's buying here. We had uh, eighteen dollars, I think, on the owl. We had sixteen dollars. I'm sorry, sixteen on the owl. Eighteen dollars on the art pottery pitcher. We have thirty-six dollars on the Bill Camel, and then the little Tanella base is six dollars. It says as found on that Tanella. You better look it over. Uh, so all four pieces uh, get ready to be bought by Lucas here. Still want that fourth one? <laughs> I'm not even seeing anything. What? I don't it's know. Got a crack or I bet. Oh, I bet it's that. It's got something, Maybe. something minor wrong with it. What do you got? What's going I on? I see some. Some Danny, but that's in the making, I think. Yeah, I see that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look. I think it's all in the making. Though. I think you're good to go. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think it's oh, good. Good deal. So Lucas shopping the mall tonight. You gonna put that up on tonight's whatnot? I think we are. Put it on tonight's whatnot show. There we go. If you're not following us on whatnot, you got to get on there. Download the app. Follow. At Burner Brother Antiques. At Burner Brother Antiques. You see Lucas Elvis stuff. Well, there's a big old steamer trunk that just got brought up. $75 on that one uh, in the sole pile. Al's getting ready to help load this up. I'm going to jump over here and help him put it up in the truck. So something else that's happening up here in the front is uh, David, our MCM dealer here, is going to start uh, taking over our flower beds. And he's just planted all these and he's put in the drip lines. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what kind of flowers uh, are going to end up right here at the heart of Ohio. And Lucas is up here getting his bill finished up. 
Uh, any other thoughts today, Luke? No. Oh, hope we do good with this stuff. Hope we do good. There's a sewing machine up there. I didn't see that earlier. It must have just came up. So check this out, guys. Singer Feather Featherlight. Uh, let's see if it's black or white. Uh, it is the black. It's got a nice case. Very great condition. Uh, this one is retail price at five twenty-five. dollars uh, And they'll get a discount on that, but it is up here in the sold bin. There goes Al again, taking another load out. Memo, I did not get a word of the day from you today. <laughs> What's your word today? Tired. You're tired. <laughs> oh, faith. Faith? Yes. There's so much turmoil in the world today that uh, you just got to have faith that God's got it all under control. It's all in control. I like it. That's a good word of the day. So what we have going on is Lucas and I have been working here at the auction all day. We went and grabbed dinner, and, uh, and now we have a whatnot show here in about an hour. Hour and a half. Hour and a half for a whatnot show. Um, so Lucas, let's talk about the whatnot show and what you have and uh, what Good you're show. thinking. Oh, I'm excited for tonight. We have a lot of higher end stuff again. Stuff um, we had uh, probably what, five months ago, similar to that. Yeah. So we're, we we really focused on the higher end items for yeah. this show, and we bought most of this out of the antique center. Uh, I mean, this, uh, that's iCole, right? Yes, it is. That's iCole. Who, who did this one? Do you know? Um, the orange one? No, I don't think we can make out the signature. And this is iCole? No, no, that's not that's iCole. That's not iCole. That's just... Um, the one behind it's it is iCole. That's iCole. I'm not sure who this one is I either. I think that's the Canadian. Um, Canadian artist? Held? Held? I don't know. Isn't that his name, Held? And that's Royal Copenhagen, right? Yes, uh, Or Danish? Hold on, what is I that? I believe it's Copenhagen. Uh, yeah, Royal Copenhagen. That's a that's an incredible design and on this there. Is this is neat. I really love cool. that burled bowl there. That is really fabulous. Uh, the Fenton piece is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some perfumes. We just brought these up. These are Art Glass Millifori earrings. They're vintage ones. Yeah. Probably out of the 60s or somewhere in there. Uh, and then all all this pottery, too. The pottery, and then we have Bill Campbell here. You got the Bill Campbell today from yeah. the heart. And it, this thing is cool. Now, Joe found that. Yes, I'm and, not uh, sure who made it, but it's just super cool. It's super cool. We don't know who made it. It's a big, big piece of art glass. And then what about this green piece? Do you know who made that one by any chance? I don't think it was marked. Unmarked? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we got all of those items up. And then you also found some Vera Bradley purses that you said you wanted to do tonight. Oh, yeah, I have probably eight or ten Vera Bradleys. I was like, oh, I asked you guys, uh, I asked the whatnot crowd, do you guys like Vera Bradley? And you all said, yes, I figured we could put them up tonight. Yep. And so, and then we got this bag of beads that are all, that's all stone and glass all in stone here. stone and glass. Uh, now this is out of our 13,000 pound yes, group. It is. Um, so we're going to put this stone and glass up tonight as like extra add on mm -hmm. stuff, right? Yes, we are. So we're going to go quite a while tonight. Yeah, we have a lot of locks. We're going to be here for a couple hours probably, I'm yes, assuming. And then are we going to mix this stuff in tonight? Yeah, I figured we could just pull from there. Um, uh, so we got all this really cool pottery, pottery stuff too. Yeah, we bought this piece today right here. Yeah, and it's got a label on the side. Uh, we showed you guys earlier as Lucas yeah, was buying it. And then we got these weirdo. Oh, that's a really cool weirdo. Uh, <laughs> pretty interesting. Uh, I like I the like fat this. guy here too. And that guy is really guy's cool. cool. Very interesting group. This is a tape measure. What? Did, you didn't know that, did you? No, put it back down. Pull his tongue. <laughs> Isn't that cool? What the? We should start using that for the whatnots. <laughs> Use that for the whatnots. And you know what else I like are these originally boxed, uh, like that's Occupy Japan, original box mm -hmm. piece. Very cool piece. Cool. Uh, and then uh, this thing, I love Yeah, this the lizard thing. bowl. That's pretty the amazing. The lizard bowl is so cool. Uh, some more studio pottery. And this has got a lizard going all the way around it too. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know if you've seen that it's or not. Kind of reptile. Yeah, so that's all for tonight's show, right? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so between now and then, what do you got left to do work-wise? Like you've you're, you're, you've had a pretty busy day. You're running the floor Long here at the auction. Oh, so what, what all did you get done today? Um, <laughs> well, we shipped three whatnot shows today. We did a lot of pulling from the auction, like pulling for UPS into the back room for people to pick up. Yeah. Um, and then we took um, a booth in the heart of Ohio and we moved it to the auction and we're going to auction it so we got yeah we got one little booth there we're going to auction mm -hmm. off okay um and then what are you going to do the next hour i'm not sure yet oh, i'm gonna go sort some jewelry uh probably set up the whatnot a little bit okay you should, should probably tray out these uh, this bag of jewelry that you got for the show tonight too yeah, get that ready so that. all right and then uh, we got a special guest gonna be here later as well we'll have to mm -hmm. we don't know when though don't know when she's gonna be here all right well that's pretty cool okay our show is over whatnot is over uh okay, talk about it Oh, well, we sold over 100 lots. Uh, we had a good time. <laughs> sold 100 lots, had a good time. How about prices? We were just talking about a little bit about prices. What would you think? Oh, I thought 
things did good. We lost on some, but I think overall we did okay. Overall, okay. Um, what surprised you the most? I mean, want to interview you so bad. Yeah, oh, this. Here we go. I watch this all the time. Watch it all the time. What, surprised, kind of like you the most? Those <laughs> what surprised you the most? What surprised you the most? Okay. Um, I think first off, I thought Josiah's vase over here. Yeah. That was a great buy. It would bring a hundred. It was right at a hundred, I believe. Okay. Um. Oh gosh, we had some really cool pieces of pottery that did good. Oh, I already wheeled these. You wheeled them out. Uh, well, what, what, that's all right. Which one was the surprise? Like some to you? of the Indian vases. I thought they were really cool, but one of them brought 120, 120? 130. And I thought that did pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. What was the other way that surprised you the least? Uh, the, or the, the bad surprise? The one that you didn't oh, bring gosh. near as much as you thought? I think about that one. Um, Look around. Oh. Uh, no, I don't know. What about the eye colts? We, we talked about those for a minute. What did well, you think of those? One of the eye colts hit good. It did 170, I believe. And then the other one only brought 60 or 70 bucks. So yeah, so the, like, the average was okay, but like yeah. it was really hit and miss. One was it? good, one was bad, and it was just a little... And then we, we finished all of the little miniature art glass pieces mm -hmm. now. They're sold. We don't have any more left. All gone. All gone. Okay, so, so people watching, uh, and they want to be a part of the show next week, the Whatnot Show... What can you tell them about what we're getting ready to sell? We have some good stuff next week. All right. Tell what are you stuff. most excited for? Um, okay. So over here, I think the most exciting. Well, I guess you got to go with the, the big loads. This right here? Big yeah. loads? And you guys, this thing is so light. It's crazy. It's super, super light. So so uh, you think that's loads? What do you think? You, what age? What are we looking at? Oh, man. Oh, that's your type of question. Well, I thought you look, you George, studied this stuff. George, George, what's the age? Well, I'm guessing it's 19th century, late 19th. I don't know. Yeah, I would um, guess like 1890s, 1880s. I'm, I'm, that's a guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just know this. It's absolutely awesome colors. It's stunning. The purple. It's got the dimples on the side. Fluted top. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, this All this art glass, though, is coming up next week. We're starting all this stuff at a dollar a piece. And we paid a ton of money for this out of the Antique Center. Did. So it's a little bit risky. It is. How do you feel about that risk? It's nerve wracking for sure. It's a lot of a lot of emotions going when something goes up, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, this coming this coming week, guys, if you want a, uh, a chance, an opportunity to bid on really great glass, uh, starting at a dollar, uh, here you go. I mean, that's that's Tiffany. Mm -hmm. This is cut glass and sterling. Uh, I believe this one to be Moser. This is Stuban. Uh, this compact, like an Egyptian revival compact, is absolutely cool. A little Egyptian scene on there. Uh, there's some Swarovski's down here. Right That's here. like a Venetian glass, isn't it? Yeah, what is that? Murano? Murano, yeah, maybe Venetian Murano, somewhere in there. Uh, great, great glass. Uh, metal metal on that one as well. What's kind of cool is uh, Sterling Silver, we've never original tried pack. This on yeah, we've never tried it. We've got Sterling Silver serving pieces, Sterling handles, uh, original pack. And that looks like, what is that, Francis the back? Francis the oh. first? I think that's what that is. You know Anyways. what else is really cool? I think this guy. Oh, that is cool. Huge that's big. Piece. Yeah, it's a it's big a giant piece, piece of Swarovski. Uh, and really then you exciting. also have uh, these these little covered um, wagons and animals and stuff yeah. up here. These are kind of cool. They're really neat. And we got all those out of the Antique Center. So everything in this whole entire show is all from the heart of Ohio. Premium picks. We bought it from our dealers. Um, they worked with us. We tried to get some decent prices so we can offer it all for a dollar. And risk, win or lose, it's on Lucas because he's the one that wrote the check, paid the bill. <laughs> yeah, we'll see next week. <laughs> we'll see next week how we do, right? Yeah. Hopefully good. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. And again, guys, this is the group we sold tonight. I, my personal biggest surprise is this frog right here. I thought this thing was going to bring like $150, $200. Uh, and it brought like 45 or 50 range i don't right remember 50. right right at 50 a little over yeah all right oh. so uh, this is all stuff we sold tonight how, how, do you remember how much this one no brought? i don't because i remember thinking it didn't um was it 40 what I 45 it or 55 yeah it was range? right i think it was around 50 but i just i thought it was you so thought cool. it was gonna bring more yeah i did okay I really thought that was a cool piece well you know what's coming up next too lucas is all of that has to be wrapped and packed i uh, know uh, how many yeah. items uh, 105. 105. Uh, right here. It's over here by the wrapping station. And tomorrow morning, you get to start. So it's, uh, what is it, about 11 o'clock. Um, we're getting close to 11. Uh, so 10 till. 10 till 11. So let's get out of here. We're going to call it a day. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment. Make lots of comments. And tell Lucas uh, uh, what you think about the art glass for this coming week. Because there's oh, yeah. a lot on him this week. Good night.